Wait, what? Did another solo flare just happen? Two in a row? Really? That's rude as hell. Or is it a broken rabbit? I heard some animal somewhere. I don't know. Um, Strombos traders. Okay. Oh, we can't talk to you right now. It's just gonna get real cold here pretty soon. Because batteries don't help you during a solar flyer. So, poor mood only had little me. Like, people don't seem to really be minding the whole... Wait, what is your issue? Stranger's death. Okay, you should be used to it by now. Um, then darkness, eight off the ground, shared bedroom, little bit of pain, feeling bad, ugly environment, disturbed sleep, no one press the bedroom, and observe corpse times three. You should be used to all of these things by now. But that's okay. Set owner, little me. There, your own bedroom. And you won't have disturbed sleep anymore. We'll still be sleeping in the cold, unfortunately, because we got a, a double solar flare happening. <laughs> a gamma ray burst has occurred nearby and is aimed right for your planet. You're dead. Oh, well, okay. That's a pretty horrible event to have happen. And all this is really bad quality because we, you know, blew it up. Could claim it and deconstruct it, but it's a bit far away. There's still just there. My my defensive mechanoids, because I'm too terrified to try to fight them. <gasps> Yay! It's back! Awesome. Now's the time to go through these since they're having to replant it all anyway. Cotton, cotton, cotton. The rest of this corner is hops. Sans this one, which is still cotton. Zero game up in this bit still, just four. And then everything else is rice. All this and these. All rice. And we still have potatoes on the floor. So rice and potatoes will be the two veg. We don't have any um, fruit. I was doing strawberries, but they take too long to grow. So meh. And we'll just have to deal with it. Because strawberries are good and fine, but rice grows so much faster. So I figure why bother? And I cut down on the cotton because we have so much leather slash access to leather come spring. Oh my god, it's gonna be it's like so many muffalo and shit everywhere. It's gonna be nuts. Couple things. Off of the most recent attack, there was a silver mace here and a uranium shiv over here somewhere. And I've got those hauled back. Nice, safe, and sound here. Uranium shiv, 99% quality. Mm, little nicked up, but that's okay. Still sells pretty well. Uranium always a pretty cool thing to find. And then the silver mace. Uh, 945 value. This is still 100% health, which is cool. It's just shoddy condition, which is a bit shit. But, oh well, still pretty good. I'm happy with it. I forbid the plasteel over here because of the uh, looming mechanoid threat. I was afraid that they'd come down here and we'd get attacked trying to haul that. And if somebody like, you know, Quen tries to go out there and haul it, somebody who's a bit slow, they'll, they'll never make it out alive. The stone cutter's table, the range is increased to reduce the load on haulers and to make sure we still get that stuff done. The smelting table is still, though, that is still just local because, oh, no, it's not. Mm -hmm. Now it is. Hmm. So anyway, that's local. That's no longer local. And the butcher table is also increased to encompass basically our entire zone. And I think, yeah, 57 is when it drops off. I don't know why. Little radius thing. I don't know why it disappears. It, it just does. But you can see here, that's 56. We're a little more than that. So basically, any animal who attacks us or dies within our territory will just automatically butcher. The haulers don't have to worry about it. So I'm trying to reduce the load on them because we are mining steel again. Down here. In fact, I need to expand this a bit still. <sighs> there. And we'll even just straight down why not and I might crack this open because it's small enough it might be worth doing could be a crowd sleep casket which is in which case I could put a uh, a colonist or two 
you know, those people who are just kind of not really doing much of anything at all. Not to name any names, but there's just a couple people here who are a bit shit. And would be cool to get rid of them without reducing mood of everybody else. So we, we might do that and then just sort of clone that person and give them a different colonist because their current colonist is a bit pooey. But anyway, this is White Panda Transport, a pirate ship that also happened. Uh, Seraphil talking to them right now, but it looks like I can't afford anything they have because I have zero silver. They have some old lady. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As you'd expect. Basically blind, can't really hear, can't really move, can't really manipulate, can barely talk. Not quite all together, not sure what's going on, have a chance of randomly breaking and stripping off their clothes, etc, etc. At least they have a stomach. And we've got Meerkat, who's just got a stab scar, 93% manipulation. Yeah, I wouldn't really want them anyway because of Jealous, but eh, more people is always cool though. Good Asaur rifle that I've got, a superior minigun, this would be cool to have. But uh, again, it's really just a fun weapon, not very useful. And then prosthetics. Uh, I can't afford any of it though. Hmm. Now, Eld Corp's fully healed. What would you have? Oh, right, Squirrel, I think, from mining way over here. Which that is cancelled over there. Oh, hum. So that's that. Trying to reduce the load on haulers just so we can get the steel brought up a little faster. That'd be a that'd be a great thing. All the slag currently queued up to be hauled over. Because I'd like to do the metal and all that so I can do the turrets properly again. I'd like to keep doing plasteel for the plasteel swords for stumbling. That was like my number one way of making money. Those wood sculptures don't really sell too they don't really sell too terribly well. This is a superior one for only 485. But I can't really do stone art, even though I would really like to, and I might do it anyway, because work to make plus three. I'm pretty sure that's plus three per uh, piece of stone used, so if it requires 200 stone, it's plus 600 work. So things like the large sculpture requires 135. Well, it requires like an extra 900 work or so to do it out of stone, but it sells better. <sighs> so I don't know. Horn. I need to hang on to stone anyway so I can continue doing bedrooms, which actually reminds me I could try double bedrooms. This is also something that was recommended to me because double beds are a pretty cool thing, though we are cracking out some pretty nice uh, single beds. Comfort 105, Beauty 62, West Rest Effectiveness 120. We'll give it a go. Make a couple uh, just wood royal beds here. Yeah, just out here is fine. And we'll see. We'll give it a shot. In other news, it looks like this area down here, nobody really misses it. So that's cool. That's some more space for more bedrooms, perhaps, or more hydroponics if I need it. Not really sure yet. What are you doing? Oh, praying. Praying to the heater god. Something I could do too. Mm. Yeah, tried to. I only really need one, but and then concrete. Uh, apparently, it's already concreted. Okay, past me already did that. So past me apparently had it in mind. I was just going to do that anyway. So there, we'll just do it single then. Save us from having to lay down concrete. And there's all of those being planted. Nice, nice, nice. Food supplies looking much better. Then again, we are doing the simple meals primarily now. Luxurious meals when we can. Cooks being five, 15, two, four, one. Mm. And Ron at seven. Quinn at five. If I take you guys off it, because clearly you've got other things going on. We'll just take you off it so you guys haul and clean instead. So that leaves us down to three cooks and eventually three tables. 
I'll tell that one to turn off. I need to set up these for... <sighs> What's it take for fine meals? Six? Six. Okay. Mm we'll do simple meal. This will be just the same as the other one. Which was, what, 90, I think? Yeah, 90, no skill requirement, just meat. Not human meat, though. And I think I forgot to do that for this one. Doesn't really matter, but just in case, like, uh, meat falls, like, right here or something from space and we end up accidentally using it. Oops. Okay, and then we'll just go fine meal for this one. He can't keep up with the uh, luxurious meals. And so we'll just do fine meals for Wheatley. While everybody else catches up. Uh, do until you have 35, I guess. Whatever you can do. And this is pave tile, pave tile. Combat Supplier, Siliconium Partners. Cool name. And that is not an auto door. Uh, ah, fuck. The one mini that doesn't have a deconstruct thing bound to X really fucks with me. There is the Silver Mace and another Silver Mace and a Uranium Shift that I picked up and some Placidal Knife. Nice. Some crappy steel long sword, some steel gladius, and the good assault rifle, which we'll keep. And the archery shells, which we will keep because I don't have the steel to rebuild them. And I think I'd really want a masterwork power armor helmet. Ugh. Look at that. 102% against sharp. Are you just like immune to headshots? Jesus. Burns, club attacks, rock falls, explosions. Humph. Assault rifle shoddy. Eh. Assault rifle poor. Hmm. What'd be cool is a machine gun. The machine guns are apparently pretty rare nowadays. I need to save up money. I have enough medicine, I think. I think there's like 30 there. Ish. I don't know exactly how much I've got. Yeah, 32. We're fine. So we'll sell that for several hundred silver. Cool, and we'll just keep it. I kind of want to do just stone small sculptures or something. Okay, masterwork, which is awesome, 420 beauty, which is cool. But it's a cook surrounded by smiths. There's a city behind the focal point and a ferret in the lower part of the image. That's it. Car. And this is 99er working on a long. All right, this is that legendary thing which I never put up. We'll install that behind 99er right there. That's a pretty fitting spot, I think. Cool, cool. And muskians wandering idly, idly wandering, rather. Which, fair enough, you're not really doing research anymore. What are you doing? Not research. Let's not have you doctor. Even in the worst of times, I don't want you doctoring. Well, I mean, I could put up a research table. I don't really know where it'd go. But rather than relying on finding a cryo sleep pod in there, I could just set research to... Oh yeah, it's just telling me I need a bench for it. The, the crypto sleep casket. Could try it. Although I am really curious about the antimatter reactors. So let's put that up first, just to get it done with. We will build the research table out of probably just wood. Yeah. Actually it fits in here, okay. Try it. That'll be alright. Where was it? I don't think these are set to auto rearm. Good 
quality, superior quality. This could be moved a bit. Or, uh, yep, yep, that's being installed over there. Yeah, right there. And get this out of here. So the sculptures down there is affecting the entire dining area, which is pretty awesome. So this entire room here should be pretty happy about it, right? Somewhat spacious, comfort is awesome because these wooden chairs are the bee's knees and beauty's pretty good. Who good are these chairs? Oh yeah, that's a masterwork one. Normal masterwork, poor superior. Superior, excellent, excellent. Wait, these are uh, engraved. Gray Newt. Uh, it's Wheatley slicing into Eldcorp. That's a good thing to have on a chair in the dining area. And this is a Baxter surrounded by historians. Okay. Mm Great, good food poisoning. Well done. <laughs> what are we currently constructing? What bets do we have? Superior, excellent, normal. Okay, and... You are titled Black Oyster, little me built you. Jack Spratt losing his shit. Uh huh, he killed a dog during that, not forgetting that. And some person rolling out of the floor while burning, and the flames are about to envelop his head. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Seems to express godlessness. Yeah. Seems to be a little obsessed with fire. So uninstall these because those are pretty cool. But even the superior one here. 130, 102, 116. No superior royal bed is almost as good as a masterwork single bed because the masterwork single was like 60 BD, 110 comfort and 120 rest I think it was. 120, 60, yeah. Oh, 105 comfort. Oh. Well then. Even more comfortable. And these masterwork ones, or, well, I guess they're excellent. Masterwork is fucking awesome, though. 121, 111, 230. Masterwork will be used just absolutely insane. If we get it. And the few. What's wrong with you? Stressed. Why are you stressed? Observed corpse. Well, yeah. Yeah, I think I will stick with this though. We'll try with the royal beds and we'll just expand upon that because I think that's a pretty decent way to do it. It's just the uh, only negative thing about these is the space inside of there. Like little me space is terrible. Um, cramped environment minus five. But that that's nothing compared to the fact that it's all temporary. Yeah, that is such a better thing. Oh my god ridiculously better so cool concept it was a nice experiment unfortunately a nice barracks isn't enough for really anything sad and little me should be working on these nice can we get these hauled please be cool please get them hauled all right cool and make more like mass produce royal beds over here. Well, I could just uh put them in here actually there's no reason not to. I just have to move shit around but at least when I deconstruct it it'll automatically be in a stockpile so I don't have to worry about that. Beacons there so I can't do it there. Go for that. We need more wood pretty soon which is a bit of a bother but should be able to just, uh, yeah, chop up that. Not a huge thing. Ah, oh, shit, there's tons out there. Never mind. Cancel all that. Loads out here. It's, uh, in pretty bad shape nowadays, though. Because we chopped it down and didn't do anything with it. Cool. Let's just not use that wood and we'll get better wood 
because if it's anything like that cloth, the shitty wood means that we're going to make shitty things with it. And a local squirrel went mad. I am almost positive the turtles will handle it. A lot of squirrels over here feasting on that muffalo corpse. Go on. Attack a mechanoid. You know you want to. Security. Just a steel turret here. And I could do a bunch of wood traps if I wanted to, but they're so weak. Then again, animals have no reason to be coming up here, so these might actually stay. We can still sort of path. Hmm, yeah, we'll go for that. And a wanderer joins. Wait, what? A house, and there's shooting happening. God damn it, Hay House. <sighs> uh, if you die and people are upset, I'm going to be very mad at you. Hypothermia shivering because you ran in here completely buck ass naked. You have a bite scar, so your movement is a little lower. Not terrible, though. Your needs. Yeah, standard stuff. Trigger happy. Optimist. Hey, neurotic. Actually works out okay. Plus six break threshold, but he's always plus six because optimist. And trigger happy, and you're actually decent at shooting. I'd like to have you. Flawed. I'd like to have you if you can make it. Good luck. Ah. <coughs> well. <laughs> A fine try. Ah. Uh, well, we'll get you. Get you a new one, I think. Um, I don't, I don't know if I can save you. I mean, like bury you. 